I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Hi. Thanks so much nice for the time you. to speak with us. How are you feeling about this nomination? Um, so happy um, and kind of, it's just very weird. Um, I feel like I'm much more happy about just everyone else being nominated, like in the film. I just like that it's been recognised kind of in every category is just, I was just so happy about it because it was really kind of, I couldn't have done it without all those people around me. So I'm just, yeah, it's just so deserved. And I'm just, yeah, buzzing and inarticulate about it at the moment. And what do you think the importance of awards like British Independent um, and what would it mean to you if you did win? Um, I think what I've always found what I kind of love particularly about Biffa actually is that you just become aware of so many more films than you would have necessarily known about. You know, just seeing kind of the wide range of films and also not just that were nominated, but that were kind of like for consideration. They're just, so many of them look fascinating and I will now want to watch so many more that kind of slipped under my radar. In terms of ever winning an award, it's not something I ever thought that would happen and I still don't, but, um, it's just very weird. This whole year feels like a bit of a simulation and this feels like another weird aspect of it. But yeah. And you know, working with Rose Glass on her debut feature, what, what attracted you to this role? I mean, there's something very unique about this film kind of cutting across different genres. Yeah. So, so what was the appeal for you? Um, well, I just thought the script was wonderful and I often read scripts that I think are good, but I don't see myself in them. And this one, I was kind of like, I actually think I get what she's written here. And then kind of when I met her, it was made even more clear that we were on the same wavelength. And that's what's really, it's lovely to get a job, but if you get a job with someone that you don't have to explain a lot to, that's really wonderful. And I feel that me and Rose really had that with each other. And then also Jennifer um, kind of was the same. It was a trio of people who didn't have to, have to, Exp explain any of the surface level stuff because we just kind of got each other but the story was amazing and I just haven't stopped thinking about Maud since I first read that script kind of quite a few years ago now. Mm. I'm a huge fan of Jennifer back from the Prime Prejudice mm. days so what was it like working with her as kind of like a veteran actress if you like? <laughs> um, yeah it was kind of I, I'm totally obsessed with her from those films and we used to like watch them on rainy days um so I was kind of having to contain some like inner um hysteria at the beginning um and then I just was wrapped up in her kind of her arms really and I still can't believe how lucky I was to work with her because that film had so many more challenges particularly emotionally than I necessarily had realized when I started doing it and Jennifer was there all the time and just yeah, it was, they say don't meet your heroes, but this one was great. Was there a particular moment that was really challenging on set, like filming a film like this? I don't think there was a particular moment that was challenging. It was more just the build up of just thinking about someone who was suffering and that at times became just, yeah, just quite overwhelming. I think actually the, the scene, the final scene with Maud and Amanda, that was that was a difficult day, um, just because both of these characters we we filmed it quite chronologically as well, and by this point we loved and wanted such a different outcome for them both, and then we were making that one. Um, yeah, but I think it was generally keeping up, keeping kind of feeling happy while doing something sad, and the crew were amazing for that as well, particularly Lee the Grip, who was always kind of knew exactly when we needed a ridiculous joke. <laughs> and it feels like there's kind of a bit of a moment going on for for women in horror uh you know both directing yeah. and, and 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 kind of like leading the stories as well so did you feel that when you were making the film and do you see that kind of happening across the industry um yeah I kind of was quite ignorant about the state of horror and I didn't realize how kind of how many male directors there were and how underrepresented women were in it so yeah that's been um I feel very lucky to kind of been part of that possibly kind of new wave of things starting. Um, but I, I really enjoy horror and I think part of it's because, and I think this isn't just about women, but I think kind of like millennials and kind of any minority group is that there's just a lot of gaslighting in life. And then 
we watch something that's like, I know what it's like to feel there's a monster there and no one believes. And so that's why I think also horror is just so kind of accessible to mm. people now, now more than ever, I'd say. Yeah, would you say that it kind of definitely through the pandemic, I don't know whether, I felt like people were gravitating towards kind of horror and you know, crime thrillers. Yeah. Is there something like escapist about that or kind of like living out these sort of slightly stressful films <laughs> that makes you yeah. feel better in a, in a stressful present? I think there's a relief for having an outlet for feelings that you're bottling up because you can't let them out. And like, also I watched, so I watched His House recently and The Lighthouse and that was kind of, I hadn't really realized that I was watching films that were about lockdown really. Mm -hmm. And that was quite surreal, but also, yeah, I just, I'm fascinated by kind of like what horror we can create on our own. And I can do a lot of that in my own head. So things like His House and The Lighthouse, for example, and Maud where the horror is her trapped in herself really speak to me. Thanks so much, Morphine, and best of luck with the awards. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.